Hi, everybody. Lori here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun, kind of colorful, a little bit retro with a uh, roller skate and the Coca-Cola using some products from the latest December release. I'm going to be starting with the Roller Skate Dynamics set. When I saw this, I was like, how cool is this? A roller skate. Fun fact about me, when I was growing up, my older brother and older sister were very into roller skating. In fact, we used to have trophies down in the basement that they would win by competing in roller skating races. Like, like they were very fast. Didn't even know it was a thing, but they were very fast roller skaters. And they could do all the, the hokey pokey and all that jazz and get down low and skate on one, like skate on one leg and put the other one out straight. They could do all that fancy stuff. And then my brother, he was a rink guard. You know, the guy who skates around with a whistle, he blows the whistle on you if you're, if you're doing any funny business. Yeah, that was him. So I come from a long line. What I'm trying to tell you is I come from a long line of very successful <laughs> roller skaters. I myself never really got into it because I guess I was too involved with the band, but I will tell you what, if I did, I probably would have got myself a nice pair of rainbow roller skates like this. I'm even doing, I don't know what all these parts are called, but I made some silver eyelets for the skates. I'm doing like a rainbow, uh, like arch on the heel of the boot. And I'm actually going to do rainbow skate laces because why not? Like go hard or go home. If you're going to go rainbow roller skate, you might as well go rainbow laces and white glitter wheels and just zhuzh it up like zhuzh it hard as you can go you know and so i'm just die cutting all these pieces uh, i recently got this anna griffin impress die cutting machine here you can see my cutting plate i've been cutting into the magnetic mat everyone told me go ahead and cut into the mat didn't know you could do that but i have been and i gotta tell you i love this thing i couldn't love it more and i have certainly broken her in as you can tell i've only had it maybe a week or two, but I do a lot of die cutting. What can I tell you? Now here are the glitter. I use white glitter cardstock for the wheels. And then this little piece here is kind of like an extra added color goes on the tongue of the boot. And then you have the little stopper, you know, the stopper you put on the toe, stuff like that. Now we don't do roller skating so much these days. What we do in this house now is hockey. So we have a lot of uh, hockey skates we actually, in our basement, have a hockey room. It's, it's an old room that's got a cement floor. And it, my husband painted the floor white with stripes like a hockey rink. There's big hockey nets in there. And they skate around on the roller blades and practice their shooting. And we have a few broken windows. Uh, we have had a few broken windows. So, anywho, I'm gluing all the parts together using liquid glue, my little embellishment wand, and just putting this thing together and having a fun time doing it. Um, I don't know if you like retro stuff, but I love it. I was really excited when I saw the Coca-Cola bottle. It's called Soda Pop Dynamics. I'll be using that after this. And uh, they have some other fun ones in this uh, December release. They also have like a long neck beer bottle. And um, just some fun imagery. I like it. Now, I don't know what this part is down here on the bottom of the skate. Uh, that holds the wheels on, but I did that out of matte silver just for fun. And then you have your white glitter wheel. How is everyone doing? We're about a week away from Christmas. Is everyone jolly? Is everyone spirits bright and merry? <laughs> or are you just hanging on by a thread? You know what I mean? Sometimes I'm, sometimes I'm high, sometimes I'm low. I'm not like a huge super duper Christmas lover. I like Christmas, but I love just ordinary days is what I do. I don't know. Sometimes with Christmas, I stress because also I have three kids with birthdays and they're all, uh, we have three coming home tomorrow. The two girls who've been living away in Michigan doing an internship. They're coming home tomorrow. Charlie's coming home tomorrow from Germany for Christmas break. So we'll have four of the five. Bo, the oldest, he doesn't get any time off with his hockey uh, season. When you play pro, they don't stop at Christmas time. So he's going to stay there in Germany. And then now I'm gluing on these little eyelets. Uh, that embellishment wand is a game changer when you have little teeny pieces like this. I also love that the Barely Art glue has that precision needle tip ending so you can get a dab of glue really small for intricate parts like this. So yeah, taking it one day by day. I, I will tell you this year, for some reason, 
I got into the wrapping, like hardcore. Like I'm talking, I added several pins to my Pinterest board about gift wrapping. And I have been to a lot of fabric stores. I've been buying a lot of ribbon, velvet, buying a lot of yarn, making the old (laughs) pom-poms. I don't know what got into me, but I really do enjoy gift wrapping. I think what I really do enjoy is just looking at gift wrapping on Pinterest and buying supplies for gift wrapping. It's a sickness, I'll tell you what. I don't know why, but it brings me joy. When I'm having a bad day and I'm down in the dumps, if I go on Pinterest and look at gift wrapping, it cheers me up immediately. I don't know what it is about it, but it does. So uh, yeah, making pom-poms, doing all kinds of fun stuff with the wrapping, trying to get ahead of the game. But look at this roller skate. If that doesn't bring the joy, I don't know what will. Here is the Soda Pop Dynamics. And you know, I'm going to make a Coke bottle. You could also do orange soda, grape soda, you know, customize it. So I did a bottle out of vellum. Now I'm doing the bottle on black. And I was just kind of improvising here. I wasn't exactly sure how to make it look like it was a clear bottle that had soda in it. So I just kind of came up with this off the cuff. And, you know, do what you will with the idea. It doesn't look so good behind. You can't really see it. So I put the black in front of the vellum. And then now I'm going to, there's a little piece here that looks like a label. I did that out of red. And I'm going to emboss, emboss. I'm using the Soda Pop stamp set. They have these three round sentiments. One says, uh, cheers. Uh, What does it say? Happy birthday. And then this one here says, you're a classic. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to emboss this, you're a classic in white onto that little red label. And it kind of gives you the feeling of Coca-Cola. You know, that's what I'm going for here. So I'm pouring on some white embossing powder and I'm gonna heat this with the heat gun and then I'll glue that on my Coke bottle. So again, you could customize the label depending on the soda and you could put the different sentiments on it and really have fun. Again, using my Barely Arts glue to glue all the pieces on. So have you guys, are you all done with your wrapping? Now here's what I'm on now. On Instagram, I keep saving a ton of Christmas cookie and Christmas treat ideas. I get a lot of ideas, but I don't have the energy or the time to match the ideas. But I would love to make Oh, butter mints, caramels, Christmas crack. You ever seen that one with saltine crackers? Oh, I want to do it all. I want to make little baskets and give them out to all the neighbors. Now, is that going to happen? Probably not. Probably not. But I've always wanted to get into the fancy, oh goodness, the fancy cookie decorating with the flooding, the, you know, the, what do you call it? The fancy icing. I mean, I love it, but I just, you know, there's only so many hours in the day is what it is. Uh, Okay, so I took some of this Rainbow Love pattern paper. It was like a striped rainbow pattern paper by My Favorite Things, and I cut the straw out of it to make a rainbow striped straw. Nothing like a nice rainbow striped bendy straw for your Coca-Cola. And then here we have the Sweet Summer Color Blends 6x6 pattern paper. Both of these are by My Favorite Things. I'm going to trim down that blended pattern paper and put it on a white card base. It has a beautiful kind of cotton candy feel. And I thought that paired nicely with the retro roller skate and Coca-Cola. And I then I use a little foam squares to pop these up just a little bit. They're kind of thin foam squares. So it's not, it's not too popping, but just enough. And then for sentiment, which was a complete afterthought, but there's a lot of great stamp sets in the release that pair with these images. So delighted to have you as a friend. Stay cool. Uh, what is to say? I think you're soda awesome. That's really cute. And that's the soda pop stamp set. And then here's the let the good times roll stamp set. And these ones have great sentiments pair with the roller skate. So I had trouble choosing, but I needed one that would kind of fit in the area that I had. So I had to be, I had to do a little surgery and remove my skate carefully so I could stamp that stay cool. Just going to stamp it with black ink. I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink and I'm going to stamp it centered right in the top there. And this says stay cool. I thought that was a nice sentiment because it kind of, you know, the roller skate and the Coca-Cola, it's like, you know, you're staying cool. I don't know. Just go with it. Okay. So 
kind of cocking the skate and the Coke bottle to the side just to keep it hip and trendy. And then I'll finish it off with a couple of sparkling clear sequins, just scattering them three different sizes. Bada boom, bada bing. This card is done. Super fun. Kind of brings a smile to your face. Brings back the old 1980s. Back at the roller skating rink, having a Coca-Cola with a rainbow stripe bendy straw. You got to stay cool, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.